two really helpful features in programming with either VB.NET or C Sharp in Visual Studio are IntelliSense and context sensitive help. I've got a label here called LVL Campus and a, tech, and a button called BTN Change Properties. I'm going to code that button. So I'm going to double click on it. This is a C Sharp uh, application. And so it generates the private void BTN change properties underscore click sub procedure or event procedure with the curly brackets and my cursor flashing in between. I'm going to type in LBL campus, which was the name of my label. And as soon as I press the period, it brings up what's called IntelliSense. Visual Studio recognizes LBL campus as a label. That's the name that I gave the label. And so it's going to show me all the properties for that label and all the methods for that label, as well as events. So we talked about objects having properties, methods, and events. And I can scroll down through the list and find the property that I want. Let's say I want to change the uh, text align. And actually, if I just start typing, if I type T E, it's going to take me to all the, the properties and methods and events that have TE in the name. So here's text align. And rather than finishing typing text align, I can simply double click on it and it will put it in there for me. Now, when I type in the equal sign and press space, it's going to suggest that the next thing I probably want is content alignment. So I'm going to double click on content alignment and that is indeed what I wanted now if I don't know what content alignment is I can place my cursor anywhere inside that keyword and press the F1 key F1 is the context sensitive help it's going to go out to the Microsoft developer network and look up content alignment and that's what I have here. I'm connected to the internet, so it's going out to the, to the net and bringing that up. And I can then scroll down to the list and look at all the members of the content alignment. This, this is actually something called an enumeration. And as I scroll through this, I can see the different members of that enumeration. These are the different values that I can use. And in this case, maybe I want middle center. It will also give me some examples, and I can see how content alignment is used. And here's a great example. It's very similar to what I'm doing. And that's label1.textalign equals content alignment dot bottom right. That's the C sharp. If I wanted to see VB, there's a tab here. And I can look at the VB example. And you can see that it really is no different. It just doesn't have the semicolon at the end. Then I can go back to my application. And again, if I type in a period, Another way that I'm going to see all the choices here is through the IntelliSense. And maybe I want middle center. And I can add my semicolon. Let's say I want to know more about labels. I can come in and simply type label. Put my cursor inside that word and press F1. And that's going to take me to the MSDN page for labels. Now, as I scroll down through this list for labels, we can see all the properties that are part of a label. And there's a lot of them. We can see the methods for a label. Methods, again, are things that do something. So I can call a method, for example, that would show or hide the label. So here's the show. And if I want to see more about that particular method, I could click on it. It would take me to that page. So there's the control.show method. So the show method isn't just for labels. It's for pretty much any control. I'm going to go back to my label page. And then I also have all the events associated with that label. And I can read what the description is for each of those events and what's going to cause that to occur. 
And then finally there's some remarks. And then they can give us examples both for VB and C sharp. So as you program and you're wondering about different uh, keywords, different operators, different classes, different methods, different properties, you can get a lot of assistance through the context sensitive help. I can also on my form select a button and press F1 and it's going to take me to the MSDN page for buttons. So the context sensitive help isn't just encoding, it can also be used with controls in the design form and looking at various objects.